What's up guys, Tekshan here, back with another video. After the success of the Geo phone... Shan, was it a success? Shh! Reliance had gone ahead to recreate the same buzz and hype and has launched the... Geo Phone 2. This is a feature phone, a smart feature phone for the price conscious customers in India. Let's quickly take a look and see what it has to offer and if you can at least consider this as your secondary phone. Here is the box, retail pack. Back we have all the Geo services and features mentioned. This costs Rs 2,999. Alright, opening up the box we have the phone itself. Well, should I say Blackberry on a budget? Haha. <laughs> then a 2000 image battery. Then a normal micro USB charger, 5V 700mA. And some documentation. That's about the box. So here is the Geo Phone 2, which has become a bit fatter compared to the previous version. The main difference between the old Geo Phone and the new Geo Phone 2 is the design. You now get this large QWERTY backlit keyboard and build seems to be solid. The display is a 2.4 inch QVGA TFT display which is now horizontal compared to how it was placed vertically in the old one. Do note that it has poor viewing angles. Front top and earpiece and the 0.3 megapixel camera. Back a 2 megapixel camera with flash, speaker and NFC. Flash can be used as torchlight as well. Top you have the 3.5mm audio slot. Bottom you have the charging slot and front bottom the mic. Pop open the back you get two sim slots in this. So you can pop in a geo sim in slot 1 and maybe use slot 2 for a secondary sim even with a different network say Airtel, Vodafone etc. By default you get a geo sim inside which you can activate by visiting the geo store or you can use your existing geo sim. Since it has just 4GB inbuilt storage you get a micro SD card slot for expansion to load your songs, movies etc and access them. Apart from that, in terms of specs, here is what Geophone 2 offers. Nothing has changed, it's the same camera configuration, same RAM capacity, same internal storage, same display and resolution, as well as same battery as the Geophone 1. The major changes are in the design, network speeds and the dual SIM option. On the software and UI, it runs on KaiOS with support for 22 Indian languages. And visually, now since the screen is horizontal, compared to the old one, it feels better to navigate and for watching videos. You get all the usual features, phone book, SMS, contact, camera, gallery and of course Geo content services preloaded like Geo TV etc and ha, huh, Google Voice Assistant as well. How's the weather? Currently Chennai is 31 and partly cloudy. This device supports Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, Wi-Fi and FM radio. FM radio also works without earphones. The audio output via the headphone jack was good and so was the external speaker, it was pretty loud. Coming to the common apps, you get Facebook, Hotstar, Google Maps, etc. You can install a few more from the Geo Store. Regarding WhatsApp and YouTube, it's coming soon. For now, you can access YouTube via the browser and it works good. Here are some Facebook app looks. then Hotstar, then Google Maps, to give you an idea. On the camera, well, it has something basic. 2 megapixel primary camera on the rear and a 0.3 megapixel front shooter for selfies. Hmm, you can also shoot videos. Here are some sample shots in good lighting condition. Recording this using the front facing camera of the Geo Phone 2 and the audio is also through that. So you get a pretty good idea. Definitely video recording sucks. Coming to the battery, it has a 2000 mAh removable battery with a standby time of 15 days. I have not tested that frankly, but given the previous track record, you should be good with it. So what do I think about the Geo Phone 2? This device is more suited for casual, non-tech savvy users who are switching from basic feature phones. This is not a smartphone replacement and I don't see this as a primary device at all. 
You get a working feature phone with smart capabilities and basic app support. Free access to movies, live TV, internet, unlimited calls and a few more for $2,999 and a monthly recharge. You can also connect this phone to your TV with a cable that is sold separately and enjoy geo content services like movies etc. on the large screen. What do you guys think about the device? Would you buy one spending 3000 rupees when you can shell out a little extra and get a smartphone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Would love to hear what do you think about it. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, like and share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech content. We'll catch you in another exciting video. Until then. If you're new to TechShan, make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon so that you don't miss my awesome tech videos.